Another application of Faraday's law is this little uh, hand generator here. Now, here we have uh, some magnets. And so in this region of space down here where the coil is, you can't see the coil, but there's a coil in here, which I'm going to rotate when I turn this crank. I'll rotate that coil in that magnetic field. And so that coil will see a changing magnetic field and therefore create an electric field, which can be translated to a voltage, which will drive a current around through the circuit. Now the coil is connected one end to one side of the light globe and the other end to the other terminal of the light globe through this socket here so that when I turn this crank will generate an electric field and uh, depending on how fast I turn it uh, that'll, de that'll uh, determine how much change there is in the magnetic field that that coil sees every time it flips over first one way and then the other. So as that coil rotates around there if I turn it fast enough, I can actually generate enough uh, of an electric field that it translates to about uh, 60 volts of voltage. And it'll make that light globe uh, glow rather brightly. If I turn it slowly, then I get a dim glow on the light globe indicating a small voltage and a small electric field created because the magnetic field is not changing as rapidly. The faster the magnetic field changes and the greater the change in the magnetic field, the greater the EMF is produced and the greater the current flows that flows through the circuit. Again, a changing magnetic field or magnetic flux will create an electric field.